take a good look at this rear end squad because this is the last time it's going to look like this. Today we're fixing up this trunk. We're going to get rid of that little patch right there. We're going to smoke the lights and we're going to mount the Rocket Bunny wide body kit duckbill wing. And I'm going to show you guys how to properly mount that wing so that way you can remove it and put it back on at your leisure. So let's go ahead, get into it, and spruce up this rear end. Yes, we got the Rocket Bunny wing. I'm gonna do some minor fitting. I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding with the Dremel on the underneath and just smooth out some little drips so it sits nice and flush. I also have a little bit of a rubber gasket I got from my local hardware store and I'm gonna get this thing mounted up I can't wait it's gonna be super fresh we need that duck bill let's go and I know I say let's go a lot but it's cuz I'm freaking hype so let's go okay so the first thing I did was go all along this edge with a flapper wheel and I really cleaned it up and evened it out so that way it sits flush when I mount it up still a little bit imperfect in some areas but overall it's way better than it was and I'm feeling comfortable mounting it now I'm going to drill quarter inch holes mark them on the trunk and drill out my 5 16 holes so I can use my quarter 20 riv nuts and mount this up alright so I just drilled my quarter inch holes in the wing it was super easy front and back now I'm going to take some painters tape tape it down on the trunk just where I want it and mark my holes and drill them in a quarter inch first and then I'm gonna step it up to the size of the riv nut which I believe is a 5 16 and I actually went to the hardware store, they measured it with a micrometer, and it was a Q drill bit. So for quarter 20 riv nuts, you're going to need a Q drill bit. Let's tape it up, mount the holes, and get drilling. Okay, so as you can see, we have the wing all taped down. What I did is I centered it right here in the corners first. Then I taped the top and reinforced it with some cross because I had to press down to get it to fit nice on the back and then I put a lot of tape to hold it down because there's actually a lot of pressure pushing in on the wing right now to expand it and make it fit so it's sitting nice and flush I'm digging the gap and I like its position so we're gonna go ahead and drill our quarter inch holes pilot holes remove the wing then step them up to the Q size bit and insert our riv nuts so that way we can bolt it back down with the hardware and it should be mounted so I got all my holes drilled in the right fitment the right spots now I can go ahead and enlarge them and put in the riv nuts alright I got all my holes enlarged now it's time to insert the riv nuts or the nut certs, whatever you want to call them. I have my trusty Harbor Freight nut cert gun here. What you do is you insert it into the trunk, squeeze, release, and you will have a threaded hole. So you can insert your hardware, bolt on and bolt off the wing at your leisure. All right, we have all of our nut certs in and crimped down. And technically I can mount the wing now with the hardware, but I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up here, get rid of some old residue, and do a little bit of a black wrap on the back of the trunk here to cover up some of this nonsense. And then we'll do some mounting. Alright, so I cleaned up the residue off the trunk and covered up that piece of paint that peeled up. Crappy Flaco Mako job. And I just did a quick, yeah, just wrapped over it real quick with some black satin. And now I can mount the wing. And it's going to cover up all that, all that nasty stuff. 
Let's do it. We'll see how it comes out. Check it out. We got the wing mounted up. Got the quarter 20 hardware in. I have to get a little shorter one for each outer hole at the bottom so it fits in. But we got the fitment right. It's looking sick. And that's it. That's how you install the duck bill. The Rocket Bunny spoiler. It's looking really nice, sitting pretty flush. I'm pretty happy with it for the minimal amount of work I did. And I can remove it and reinstall it easily when I get the car painted. So I'm pretty excited about it. I love how it came out and I will give you guys just a quick walk around on it when I get out of the driveway later. But that's it. Let's go. Well there we have it guys. We got the duck bill on. It's looking pretty fresh. Let's take a little walk around of the whip. I gotta do the front lip soon. But that wing really sets it off. I love that back there. She's sitting low, she's sitting pretty. And that wing is popping. So anyways, I'm gonna smoke out these lights later and do a couple little more touches to the car. But I'm really liking it. And I hope you guys do too. Hope you learn something from the video and get out there and get dirty and do some work. See you guys later. Cheers.